violates, violates, what I'm going to show you, it violates Kershaw's second law. Kershaw's second law says that you will have, across the loads, you will have a voltage drop across those loads. And if you add them all together, they will equal the input voltage. In fact, their equation says this, that the difference between the input voltage and the voltage drops across the loads, the difference will be zero meaning that you can never get a difference. Now I'm going to show you, when I can take the voltage here, once we run in this machine, you'll see the voltage of these capacitors over here are higher than the voltage here. And you'll notice when I turn this machine off, after I turn it off, it'll keep pumping water and run for over a minute. It will keep running and keep pumping water close to a minute and a half. Now, any other motor you've ever seen in your life that has a load on it, when you cut that engine off, it stops, I mean, on a dime, just pop, and stops. Just like your car engine. And they claim it's got at least three, two or three hundred horsepower. You cut that engine off and watch how quick it'll stop. Watch how quick your car will stop if you're going up a hill and you cut that engine off. Even though you have momentum, the basis of gravity is trying to pull it back down. This motor keeps, what you see it do when I cut it off, is what it's doing when I'm hooked to these batteries in series. It's doing the same thing. So it's not running off of this battery, the current in this battery. It's running from its own mass. And these motors have 